So many of us, myself included, can't start the day without a cup of coffee. <laughs> but can you guess which profession drinks the most? Yeah, okay, so it is ours. <laughs> Our British website says of 10,000 professions it surveyed, Journalists and others in the media drink the most coffee, that being one of several that we suck down on a regular basis. There are coffee stations at nearly every unit here at ABC News. <laughs> oh, you can see how early I start off with, and, and Dan always helps me push the buttons because I can't figure it out. They're always so fancy. So she's singing and she's doing this cup routine that was made famous in Pitch Perfect. So there she is. Wow, that's an impressive. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's about as much as I have. Who knew? But here she is, <laughs> Miss World News Now. <laughs> See, even even the kids don't like that scruffy look. <laughs> or maybe she liked the scruffy look, and she she's not into the clean shaven daddy. Oh God, poor kid, traumatized for life, all because of a razor. Yeah. Bring your bubble tomorrow, Dan. Okay. <laughs> Did you know there was a song? Because apparently there is. <laughs> and Rita's got I'm it ready right. for my guac. Now, folks, this is what you're going to do. If you don't have time to go out and get all those ingredients, and really, who does these days? You're just going to get yourself an avocado, get a jar of salsa, mix the whole thing in. People are going to think you spent hours making it. And it seems like the ultimate summer adventure. <laughs> sort of makes it slip in. <coughs> Excuse me. Too yeah. much guacamole on this national <laughs> guacamole day. <laughs> Excuse totally decked out. Um, Excuse you okay me. there? We'll I get you a ride. <laughs> Speaking of the psychedelic trip that's going on in my throat right now, but Colorado just passed, pot's now legal out in Colorado, yeah. so what do you need this taxi anymore? Well, part of the problem is it's been 30 years he's been trying to do this, so um, <coughs> they've joined a Kickstarter project. <laughs> I'm done. This I, is like, what is going on over here? Know. And they say a lot of people claim that they feel better when they use <laughs> marijuana. <laughs> How many millions of dollars is put into that study? No, I love the. Listen, I mean, Harvard, you got a lot of money. You're sitting on a lot of cash right now. I just, do you, you kind of wonder, like, where's the nugget in this one? A lot of people say they feel better when they do use marijuana. Oh. So this just in, orange juice may contain oranges. So did any of this actually happen, or did no. we just kind of? I will say there were a couple of times this week you made some jokes and it, I had a five second delay. <laughs> we have a, a study coming up um, uh, talking about sleep and how you get sort of screwed up and your words don't come out right. And sometimes you just make things up altogether yeah. or imagine that something happened when it actually didn't right. happen at all or you go out of focus like that. Yeah. What were you just saying? You said you were sometimes right. dreaming about you might actually want to be on Dancing with the Stars. Is Did that I what say you, that? I think you might have just said that. that. Or is this applying to that whole sleep study? I, I don't even. Uh, you would so get my support. You would get the mirror ball hand. Down. Would I? You wouldn't even have to touch foot on the dance floor. Would you go to space <laughs> if you could? I mean, let's say, let's say cost was no object. Would you go? <clears throat> no, because your hair just doesn't look good. <laughs> well, what if you could bring Donna if she was going to be hair maintenance? If Donna, or, if she was in who mission does her control, hair here. Right. Yeah, if she was in mission control, because she cooks well, too. She, so, she, so, so, okay, all right. So now we've yeah. got a team that potentially are going to be going to space. Yeah. All right. I have tried moon ice cream, and I do find it that's delicious. As close, so that's as close that as you're going to get. Yeah, I would go. <laughs> they are aggressive. They don't, they don't, they don't run, they do not shy away. They're not your common circus geese. Circus that you, geese? <laughs> that, that you think are going to be fearful of you approaching them. I didn't know Barnum and Bailey had circus geese. <laughs> I mean, it was Michigan. That's what we did. Is that you had your own pet geese? <laughs> I wish. In Florida, we had a cat and a dog. But oh, oh, good to know. Fancy you. I'm sorry, Rena. <laughs> Ooh, those legs, I know. Miss Nina. I worked very legs. hard for those legs. You Let me tell you. Them. Uh, da, 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 there you da, go. Da, da, da. <laughs> there it is. I love it. Who needs Dancing with the Stars when you've got World News Now Dancing there with the go. Stars? We'll have we to, have our own mirror we'll ball. We'll have to work on our pasta doble. <laughs> there you go. If you pasta let me <laughs> Pasta what? <laughs> we'll, we'll translate that later on. Maybe the hokey pokey might be a little bit more our speed. We'll build ourselves up. Don't miss the updates on Facebook, WNNFans.com. <laughs> But don't try any funny moves with me, Dan. No, not at all. Hands on the bar, keeping your hands inside the ride at all times.
I, I'm a big roller coaster fan. Are you? Are you? Why don't I, we take the show? Let's go to let's go to a, a, an amusement park. Like do the whole show from Space Mountain. I think that's exactly do that. That is exactly how it rolls. Yes. I mean, hangs with Sting. Borrowing jackets from Bono. the Queen. <laughs> is, that, is that the Queen's guard? Probably it's Queen so. Elizabeth. Nicely, right nicely. in her closet. A butt towel? A butt towel. I don't know what that is. What is a butt towel? And I don't want a butt towel anywhere near my cheesecake factory. You've got to throw it in there and then you've got to get the heck out. <laughs> it's like you should be playing the music for the Benny Hill show when you're seeing this, right? <laughs> and the band swears that this was not a publicity stunt. I, I, well, I believe it because honestly, look, the cheering on, cheering on, cheering on. There he goes. <laughs> And now the police officer is like shamed forever within the department because they were the ones that had to chase after the little squealer. Squealer was pretty fast. <laughs> very, Don't blame him. But... Very cute. Oh man. All right. Very cute. Oinks on this Wednesday morning. <laughs> Never fails. Thank you, control room. Thank you. Yeah, and you know that she's because she's a teacher. Yeah. She's going to do something very generous, yeah. something very smart with that money. She's sure. not going to go out and get like Photoshop thigh gaps or anything like no that. No way. So now it's time for the mix, and I am not going near Dan. I'm sorry. What? Dan. What? It, you just smell bad. Wh what? It, you have a bad bo. I don't know how else to tell you this. I'm sorry. Rhea? But I, in Burien, Washington, my friend, you've just I, committed a crime. It's illegal now. It could, you could, it's just a horrible situation with B.O. there. City Hall, library, what? if you smell bad, it's a crime I thought there. we were friends. I, we Rena, are friends, I, but someone's got to break it to you. Can we get the hairspray maybe? That'll... Please, someone hairspray, uh, mints, anything. <laughs> mints? Mints, I'll take mince? anything. Apparently this is it's really... Fine. No, it's fine, Rena. It's fine. I I'm think sorry. the people out in Washington now know. Is that where this is happening? Washington, Washington. is illegal now in Washington. It's Burien, Washington. All right, well, I'm I guess sorry. I won't be visiting you, Burien, Washington, anytime soon. I would never even go out in the water at night. Well, you said that you, you surfed, you've surfed a couple of I, times I, before. I surfed a couple of times in Hawaii, but I, not that I was good enough. And I dare, would never go in the, in the dead of night. Well, never. Uh, but, but, but because of that, then, how, how are you able to know when the wave is coming up? That's part of the reason. And then how do you know when Jaws is coming <laughs> after you? I don't know if you know this, Rena, but I have three hot glue guns at home. Oh, so. I did not. Oh, ten, ten seconds, seconds left. No, I gotta no, get the green. No, I gotta get the green. No. Get the green off. Get the oh, green off. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh. <laughs> There's a count. I've still got some in my mouth. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Oh. See, we're getting 30 seconds. Put down your knives. Master Put down chef. Your, oh. Master Play Doh oh. chef. Oh. All right, let's see who did it better. Hold it up. Who's, who did it better? Who's won? I Mr. Think I have a hot glue gun at I home. I think Martha Stewart would be very impressed. This was a good thing. I don't have a hot Stewart. glue gun at home, but I do icing it really, fondant. <laughs> it really isn't edible either. Well, you know, that sort of competition is all good and well, but let's get to the serious <laughs> stuff, the very serious stuff. How about yeah. an eating competition? Hamster versus human. Mm -hmm. Man versus beast. That is exactly what is going on in this internet video. Competitive eating legend Kobayashi taking on hamster <laughs> named Bogart. Kobayashi eating full-size hot dogs. Bogart taking oh. some dog-shaped <laughs> foods made of grapes, dates, and carrots. In the end, it's Bogart who's judged to have won, and none other than Kobayashi who puts a medal around the hamster's neck. Makes me wonder what happened to Joey Chestnut out there. What was he thinking? I don't know. Both are winners in my book, though. If you're going to take down that much food, <laughs> Kobayashi's not even there. Oh, silently plotting on the side there. <laughs> you go, Bogart. Nice job.